for one. Brit is back uh, to have a new haircut and she wanted ultra short so she maybe tells you how much you want on top and how much you want on the sides. We'll make a clipper cut haircut and now I will use the clipper combs so for all those who think I cannot cut with clipper combs this will be the video where it's happening. So Brit you may turn for you and the rest of the world and show what you have now. Thank you very much. As always we start with protection. It's still summer in Holland. You can see it on a nice color of the skin. She's nice brown. Not maxi brown but medium brown. But that you get with a white skin. I have a clipper that has a about uh, 12 millimeters and that's what's going to use on top of her head. I'm going against the hair flow. Rare <laughs> fool, And her new color will be ultra blonde. And what you have to do with cl the clipper is to see where the, the, the folds of the hair are and the movement of the hair. And work in the opposite lines. This way you get the best result. And the nicest haircut. And even a clipper cut you can make a hairstyle of. And who fooled it? Almost, eh? <laughs> I use um, 5 mm and that I connect to the upper hair. So I travel out where the, the skull is moving in. I travel out with my clipper comb to leave the length on top. It's a 2mm clipper comb, this is the shortest I have and then only the blades of the clipper can make the difference. Create a soft front line. Move out where you started with the 5mm. So you don't get hard lines into the hairstyle. And you hear the small hairs rolling between the baits. It's a nice high tone you hear. That means that she has strong hair.
put off the protection and now I put my blade back and make a soft line. I move the blades of the clipper because I need different lengths. At the start I use uh, zero, so blades as it is, and then I put it back and I've got about uh, one and a half millimeters to two. That depends how you use the blade. When you put it flat on the skin, you have uh, one and a half and millimeters, and when you put it like a comb, what I do most of the times, I have about two millimeters. So I create more length and make difference in the length. Wel lekker hè? Ja. Het is niet zo hard knijden. Ik voel bijna geen haar. Nee. Okay, with my uh, new Kiono uh, master blade, I took a 7, this was a large blade. This I love this scissor because it's a wonderful scissor and it gives me the feeling of control. So that's why I'm using it and since I have, there's no scissor for me that's better than this one. So that's why I use a Kiono scissor. Control the cut, scissor over calm. I always do because I don't like it when little hair sticking out. It has to be clean cut. And the longer the hairs are, there's the more you have to correct. But they take all off and you don't have to correct anything. And a large clipper gives a lot of stability into the way you cut hair. So that's why I love to have a large chisel. Okay, start as always for protection. And there are a lot of people asking me what the plastic foils are. Um, yeah, we have by the grocery and it is uh, something that is on the market for professional hairdressers. But I don't know what, where you can get them in, in, in other countries than in Holland, so you have to find out. And I think it's a product also from Siebel, so maybe you find it there. My bleach with 9%. Still dirty volume, I take a blue bleach of Siebel and I think that's the best bleach to make uh, very light hair, hair colors with. I put in an extra conditioner because I want, don't want to hurt the skin. And I have to watch out because when short hair you, you put on the bleach, it jumps off because the hairs are a little bit stronger than longer hairs are. And you put it right on and leave it then for 20 minutes without heat. Control. I think afterwards I'll tell you if I use the toner or not. And which toner I used. As always, I put on a carton wig. I lay it on the contour line. And then on top a little bit. This I do to give the bleach more space to develop. And close my plastic folds and then I think we're back about uh, half an hour. See how wonderful light the uh, color is. What I use now is uh, the Silver Mist. I love this product. It's uh, conditioner, it's uh, about styling product and it takes away the last golden tones that are in her hair color. So that's why I love it. It smells wonderful. And it's for four reasons. Just blow dry it a little bit.
Just blow dry it a little bit. Just watch where the small hairs are standing up. And while the hair is blonde, you see all the small hairs that are a little bit longer standing out. So that's what I like about, love about platinum blonde colors. The clipper can take the hairs up, so you have to correct some a little bit. And even then you can not get all the hairs because <laughs> the one with always one that's standing up for some reason. Razor knife, clean the contour. Hold the skin tight. And as visions I use a wonderful product of Rover hair. It's a fiber wax. And it smells lovely. And this is my new hairstyle for Brit. And it can be even shorter than this. <laughs> but we don't do that. You may turn for you and the rest of the world and show the end result. And do you like it? Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you very much.